Welcome to our level 3 tutorial on VAT machines. The VAT machine was actually developed simultaneously with the Ford Rainier. In fact, it was a, developed by Dickinson on an adjacent site to where uh, Brian Donkin was developing the uh, Ford Rainier machine. This here is the Uniflow VAT. It's called the Uniflow VAT because everything goes in one direction. Here we have the stock coming in, going around the back circle, here coming out this way, and the making circle is turning in the same direction. So the stock and the making circle are both turning in the same direction. The distance between here and here is the making head, so this is the pressure that will force the uh, stock through the wire and deposit the fibres on the surface of the wire. This is a contraflow vat, so named because things go in opposite directions. Here we have the stock coming in and going this way around anti-clockwise, and here we have the making circle going this way clockwise. And again, we're showing the making head, the pressure forcing the stock through. One problem of all vat systems is it involves rotation. When you have a rotation, you've got centrifugal forces operating. When you have centrifugal forces operating, things are likely to fly out. It's very rare that you get VAT machines operating more than 90 meters a minute because of this very action, this centrifugal action of throwing things out. Typically, they will operate between 40 and 50 meters a minute. Such a slow operation means that the overhead cost is huge and that will therefore dictate what sort of material you can produce. You can't possibly produce standard printed and writing papers because the cost will be prohibitive. So you can only use these type of machines for very high added value products. And typically this is used for security papers, things like uh, currency papers, banknote papers, um, passport papers, things like that. <clears throat> There is another use of VAT machines, rather than using just one VAT machine where you can produce a very high quality security paper with a three dimensional watermark, you can line up a whole series of VATs and produce some multi layer board. Uh, some of the old fashioned suitcases were actually made out of this type of nine ply board very highly impregnated with resins. So this is the alternative uh, for VAT machines, use them on their own for high uh, security papers, high value security papers, or use them in combination to use multi-layer board for transformers, for suitcases, for core board, similar applications. So a quick summary of this tutorial. VAT machines typically are very slow, between 50 and 90 meters per minute. Because they're so slow, they have a very high overhead cost, so you can only really use it for high added value products, such as screw to papers. You can get a full tone watermark with the VAT machines, whereas if you try to apply a dandy on a standard for a drilling machine, you can only get a half tone watermark. So this gives much more precision. And finally, you can also use VAT machines in combination to produce multi-layer board, nine, possibly more levels, used for things like say, core board, uh, old fashioned suitcases. Thank you for listening to this tutorial and uh, I hope you enjoy my other tutorials equally.